Pussy, 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 brickle, 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 flexus, flexus, flexus. So here with us today on Brachial Flexus, we have a special guest who flew all the way in from New York to join us. Private jet, private jet. Thank you very much, Dr. Rogers. Par, Dr. Par. Par. Par, Par, Dr. Par. Yes. When I'm incognito, I'm Dr. Par. I see it now. Thank you. Okay. So I have a few questions for us. I was wondering if you could help us out with biochemistry. I would love to. Terrific. I would just love to. <laughs> yes. Okay, so here is our first question. The side chain for histidine is classified as a blank side chain. Now, if you could run through the answers with me and let me know which and which wouldn't be the correct answer. So how about A? Basic. A basic side chain? Nonpolar. C is neutral. D is acidic. And E is polar. Well, histidine is an essential amino acid. Amino acids are building blocks of protein. Essential because the body does not produce it. They're about 20 to 22. Histidine is a basic polar amino acid. It has an aminosol group. So I think it depends upon PK too. Let's see. Um, I would say is classified as a. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I would say polar. It's classified as a polar. Well, it's basic. It's basic. I thought the same thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, jumping into the next question. This is question 24. What question happened 24. to the other? Oh, all right. The question: What type of amino acids have polar side chains that are attached to water? Attracted. To oh, water. attracted. A T T A. Oh, that's. Who wrote this? <laughs> James. Oh, not me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, whoever did has beautiful penmanship. Or printing. Uh, can I just? Absolutely. Okay. What type of amino acids, which are building blocks of proteins, okay, um, have polar side chains that are attracted to water? Hydrophilic, hydrophobic, aromatic, hydrocarbon, nonpolar. Attracted to. Attracted to water. I know. <laughs> it wouldn't be phobic. No. Of course not. No. no. It wouldn't be aromatic. It sure wouldn't. Because it's colorless. <laughs> smells good, it's but... It's colorless. Histidine is colorless. Would it be nonpolar? Nonpolar, no. 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 Would it be a hydrocarbon? No. no. <laughs> so, process uh, of elimination. The only answer Reduction. left is D, hydrophilic. And remember my rule number two. What's rule number two? Never eat a horse if there's a cow. <laughs> <laughs> That's 26, stupid. That's 26. Rule <laughs> number two. Don't lose sense of common sense. Induction. You can hydro water. Mm -hmm. Philic love. Phobic hate. I'm not be that strong. So how'd I do? How'd I do? I thought you did great. Thank you so much. Oh, you, Dr. Carr, everybody. It is not nonpolar because nonpolar amino acids have an R group that is is in hydrogen, alkyl, or aromatic. It is not neutral because histidine has charge. It is not acidic because there is not a carboxyl acid, carboxylic acid as the R group. It is polar, but a polar amino acid can be basic, acidic, or neutral. Therefore, it is A, basic, because it, because it its R group is an amine. Jesus Christ.